Okay. The Mechanical Engineering Catalog for BYU Idaho. I'm going to have the link for this down in the description. I went over this a ton while I was still a student, but basically what I want to do is run down the different classes that they have in here and what you're going to need if you are going through your four year engineering degree and my review kind of of my personal experience with the classes. So starting off, they go through the different types of engineering majors here, but we're going to focus on the mechanical engineering one. So if you keep scrolling down, Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering, this is what I received back in April. So to start off, it tells you to take these courses your first two semesters. So Chem 105 and a few different mechanical engineering intro classes. So let's go to those first and we will continue on the list. So if you keep scrolling down, <coughs> whew, excuse me. Oh. Okay, MU 101, Intro to Mechanical Engineering. It says this course provides an intro to the field of mechanical engineering and related fields. Topics include investigation of curricula, career planning, design process, engineering software tools, in addition to student teams will compete complete an engineering project. So this class, as you can see, is one credit. Really simple. Basically, they just had a bunch of different People from the different mechanical engineering majors, uh, different professors come and talk about that major, talk about different careers in it. And then at the end of the semester, you made a bridge together out of popsicle sticks. And then you tested it uh, against all the other students to see whose could hold the most uh, weight. So uh, kind of interesting class. Um, I mean, it helps you start to think about engineering. So I would say this would be best to take. They should have you take this with, uh, like, if you're unsure what you want to do, ME 101 with a bunch of other classes, maybe like an intro to business class or something like that, or intro to uh, life sciences or psychiatry. I don't know, whatever. This should be taken in conjunction with those, not with all your other stuff because if you're taking everything else you pretty much have decided this is what you want to do so continuing on this one is not required so you can forget about that me 142 three credit class uh co-requisites math 112 so that's calculus now the engineering computation class here this course provides an intro to computation in the context of engineering problem solving fundamental principles of computation such as computer representation of numbers and round off error are presented basic numerical methods including numerical integration differentiation blah 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 basically this whole class is a kind of a programming class it's like a very intro to programming like my experience was uh i did really good in this class i really enjoyed it because i like programming but a lot of my other classmates really struggle with it because they had no experience in programming and they just had no desire to do it so really simple they basically just use excel and teach you about vba within excel which is a little programming language that you can use to, you know, you do things like make a uh, mortgage calculator in Excel, or you make little tools that you can use in your other engineering classes, like, you know, solving statics problems or solving strengths problems or whatever it is. You make little math tools in Excel and program them in VBA or the classic conversions uh inches to you know millimeters or you've got your celsius to fahrenheit so different little simple things like that not super crazy but i enjoyed the class and then you have me 172 which is also required and recommended you take your first two semesters this is the engineering graphics class so it is the fundamentals of 3d parametric modeling and engineering design concepts including orthographic projection, auxiliary views, sectioning, dimensions, working drawings, assembly modeling, parametric modeling, 
Fundamentals and Standards, Intro in Computer-Aided Design Tools with Application of Mechanical Engineering. Now, what I have to say about this class is I really struggle with this one. I don't know why, but it was really hard for me. I spent so many hours on this, and I still ended up getting like a B- minus in the class. So, but the gist of it is they teach you how to use a program called SOLIDWORKS, which is basically what it says here. You make 3D models. So if you get nothing else out of this video, you can shut it off after I say this if you don't want to hear about the rest of the classes. But this is key for if you are trying to figure out if you should do mechanical engineering. This class right here, honestly, you can take ME101 and ME172 and if you feel like you really enjoyed ME172, you are in the right major. Keep going. If you felt like you did not enjoy one ME172 and it was a struggle for you, but it seemed cool, but it just was like so taxing and like you just didn't really enjoy what you were doing on there, uh you might want to change majors, honestly, because this class right here, I'm telling you, like, you never have a class on this again the rest of your four years, but it, you use it in every single class. It is useful. And that's pretty much what any job, which is the whole goal of university, is to get a job after that you can get a higher paying job. Any mechanical engineering job, they want you to be a master of this. So if you aren't a master of this and can't showcase these skills, you're in industry, not really a mechanical engineer, which probably why I wasn't able to find <laughs> a job or didn't really put much effort into finding a job because I wasn't too crazy about this class here. <sighs> well, I put effort in finding a job, but you know. Next, okay, so that's ME172. You can shut the video off now if you want. But if you want to hear more about the rest of the classes that you will be taking in mechanical engineering, we're going to keep rolling. So ME201, the next one they suggest you take uh, in your first two semesters. Statics, concepts of forces, moments, other vector quantities, free body diagrams, particles, and rigid body statics, trusses, frames, machines, friction, centroids, and moments of inertia. Vector analysis used all students enrolled planning to enroll in ME201 will be required to demonstrate proficiency in math fundamentals by achieving a minimum composite score of 80%. Okay, so what the heck does that all just mean? Well, again, it's a co-rec with Math 112, which is calculus. So, which is funny because you don't use any calculus in this class. There's like one section that you use integrals a little bit to find the centroids of an object, but other than that, you don't need calculus. So it's funny they make that a co-rec. So anyways, engineering statics. This class here, honestly, it's tons of work, just like ME172, just like almost every engineering class. Well, not almost every engineering class you're gonna take. It is a lot of work. You're gonna be putting a lot of hours in. I would <laughs> be doing this on the weekends, nighttime, you need study buddies, you need study groups in order to conquer this material and do well in. So, hmm, yeah, you, again, my advice, if you're watching this video trying to figure out if you should do mechanical engineering and uh, trying to get a gauge of, you know, what you could enjoy, you know, it's really hard. It's funny how they just throw us into these majors and they say, pick a major and you need to take all these classes and uh, basically this is going to be your career path. And you have to know that without even doing it yet. <laughs> it's really broken. But anyways, that's what I'm trying to help you figure out in this video. So statics, great class. Um, the contrast between this and one, ME172, this one right here, computer graphics is that uh, for ME172, really hard class. I wasn't too crazy about it, but I feel like this is a good metric for if you will enjoy engineering, is this class. However, this one equally as difficult, 
if not more difficult. However, I enjoyed it more. However, I do not feel like this is a good metric for if you will be uh, a successful mechanical engineer or you will enjoy your choice of major or career. I feel like this is a better metric for that. But statics, again, I do agree with what they said about taking this your first two semesters because, again, it helps you gauge if this is for you. This is more of their, their weed out class. So I think they make it really difficult. In order to weed people out, it requires a lot of time and effort. Um, anyway, statics, interesting class. Next, you've got strength and materials. Was this one of their suggested that you take the first two semesters? Because I did not take it my first two. It is not, no. That's that's the cutoff right there. So strength and materials. Again, this is a required class. Equations of static equilibrium, engineering stress strain, thermal loading, stress, combined loading problems, stress and strain. This class here, <clears throat> strength and materials. Uh, again, this, this I would say is one that is a good metric for if you are cut out for mechanical engineering or if you want to go into this because knowing when stuff breaks, the strengths of something, that is essentially what a mechanical engineer does. You're trying, you're figuring out different stresses and strains on materials. You deal with physical stuff, right? Uh, personally, I couldn't tell you a single thing. Like I probably couldn't solve a single strengths problem right now because I didn't really find it too interesting. And if you feel the same way with ME201, honestly, uh, might not be the right course or career path for you. Just my opinion. Uh, however, <laughs> that doesn't mean I didn't enjoy this class for other reasons. Like my classmates that I had that I sat beside made great friends there. And also the teacher, the most hilarious teacher at BYU Idaho. So freaking awesome. Brother Harris, love this guy. Still quote him to this day. So if nothing else, you'll have a great time if you take it with Brother Harris. Other other professors, I can't vouch for that. But if you are a mechanical engineering major, take this class and take it from Brother Harris. Or else you're missing out. Because he doesn't teach anything else in mechanical engineering. He's a civil engineering teacher. Next, uh, dynamics, also uh, required, uh, correct with 201 and physics 121. I do agree with that. Those are definitely needed for this class. So uh, physics 121, by the way, I think everyone should take physics 121. Engineering or anyone in the sciences really should be taking this class. And they should be taking it from Brother Oliphant because this Physics 121, along with my programming classes, probably the most useful classes I took in all of college. Teaches you how to think, teaches you what to do. So, really enjoyed it. Dynamics. Okay, so, uh, engineering dynamics. This builds upon statics in the sense that the application of the concepts of dynamics to particle systems of particles in rigid bodies, scalar and vector analysis used. Okay. So you're figuring out things, uh, statics is just things that are stationary, right? Figuring out the loads on a beam, structure, yada, yada, yada. Dynamics, things are now moving. Okay, that's all I got for you there. Again, difficult class, like all engineering classes. However, I do not feel like this is a uh, good barometer or metric to determine if this is the right major for you. Those all happen over here in ME172 and ME101 probably will help you with that. Okay, so let's see here. These are not, uh, I believe these are not mm, 210. Yes. Devices, electric mechanical devices. Okay, this one is a, a, a required now. I did. It was a different class when I entered into the major, but I really enjoyed this class because again, I'm all about. I liked the programming aspect. I liked the computers, the robotic stuff. So this was cool. Uh, this is where I made my Arduino gift box in this class. So you can uh, check that video out. I have it posted. They make everyone make a 
YouTube video of their project with Arduino. So enjoy that one. I mean, even if you're not a mechanical engineering major, cool class. Liked it. Uh, basics of circuits, you know, power, yada, yada. I feel like that stuff is not too critical, but the hands-on practical stuff of making Arduinos was cool. Manufacturing processes. Okay, uh, 231. Yes, this one. Again, if you like this class, you like nerd out over this, this is cool for you. Man, you are in the right major. Maybe even you should be a technology major like welding or manufacturing instead of mechanical engineering hardcore because this one you're all up in here in the processes so but you're talking milling turning drilling sawing casting polymer processes joining processes that's all with uh this class here okay material science all uh, right ba, 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 ba. that's cool you know what i'm gonna cut it for now Thank <laughs> you.